The most stressful and challenging test of the engineering, performance, and durability of a production vehicle is on the track. Throughout sports car racing history, Ford production-based race cars have met this challenge, collecting checkered flags all along the way. Shortly after its introduction, Ford Mustang flexed its muscles in SCCA amateur and pro competition during the 60s. Jerry Titus drove his Shelby American Prep Mustang to a SCCA Trans Am Championship for Ford in 1967. He also drove a Shelby GT350R to one of three consecutive SCCA B production national titles for Ford. The iconic Ford GT40 is perhaps Ford's most recognized production-based race car. Thanks to its stunning design, dominating performance, and multiple victories on road racing's largest stages, it remains an icon 50 years later. And of course, there's the iconic Boss 302 that Parnelli Jones drove to the 1970 SECA Trans Am Championship. The Boss 302 remains one of the most popular performance race cars in Ford and Ford racing history. When Ford returned to the track in 1981, Ron Smaldone, a Ford powertrain engineer, drove the definition of a production-based race car, a turbocharged Ford Mustang, to the first ever SECA showroom stock A National Championship for a domestic car. And most recently, the Mustang FR500C launched a family of turnkey race-ready Ford Mustang race cars from Ford Racing. This car, introduced in 2005, won its first race just two days after being delivered to the track, leading to a series championship in its first season. Joined by the Boss 302R and 302S, this family of production-based race cars still competes and wins on tracks around the world today. Performance, innovation, and domination have blended the history of Ford Racing's most iconic vehicles into road racing lore. For your chance at a 2014 Ford Fiesta ST, visit EcoBoostEnduranceSweeps.com.